Assalamu alaikum students. I hope all of you are well and enjoying the blessings of this holy month. Today is the second Friday of this holy month. So I want to wish all of you a very happy and blessed Friday. Meri taraf se aap sab ko baut baut juma mubarik. As you all know that we are studying unit number 6 with the title of work and energy. We have read these two scalar quantities work and energy. So let's start our today's class. Today our topic is the forms of energy. Students in our previous class, if you do remember, we have read two basic types of energy. The very first type is called kinetic energy and the second type is called potential energy. But today we will study some of the basic forms of energy. So let's start. The very first form we will study is called mechanical energy. The next form of energy we will study is called electrical energy. The next form of energy is called light energy. Another form of energy is called nuclear energy. There is another form of energy which is called chemical energy. Next form of energy is sound energy. And the last form of energy that we will study is heat energy. So, in general, we will study these seven forms of energy. We will study their basic definitions, their sources and the uses of all these forms of energies. So, let's start. First of all, we will study mechanical energy. Let's see its definition. Energy present in a body due to its motion and position is called mechanical energy students as you know that if a body possesses energy due to its motion then that type of energy is called kinetic energy and if a body uh, possesses energy due to its position then this is called potential energy so when a body can do work due to both its motion and position so the form of energy will be called mechanical energy we can use a single word instead of kinetic and potential that is mechanical energy. So we can write another very simple definition of mechanical energy. That is mechanical energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Or the sum of kinetic and potential energies. A very simple example and basic example of mechanical energy is human beings means ourselves. Obviously we can move from one place to another so we possess kinetic energy. And we can also do work due to our position because we change our position we move towards height and then down so we can do work due to our position so we also possess potential energy when these two types of energy combine they make mechanical energy or in other words we can say muscular energy because we use our muscular energy to do our daily activities or to do work so we can say we possess mechanical or muscular energy Let's discuss some of the other examples of mechanical energy. The very first example is a moving clock. A moving clock is at some height. So it possesses potential energy. Also the needles of the clock are moving. So they possess kinetic energy. So as a whole a clock possesses mechanical energy. Another example is a moving fan. Mo fan is at some height. That is potential energy. Also the fan is moving. So that is kinetic energy. So when these two forms of energy combine, they make mechanical energy. So as a whole, we can say that a fan possesses mechanical energy. Next example is a girl on a swing. The uh, girl is swinging. So girl is at some height and also moving. So as a whole, we can say that this girl possesses mechanical energy. Next form of energy that we are going to study is electrical energy. Students, this word electrical it is derived from a word electricity. And if you can see here, this word electro, electro, that word is derived from the word electrons. I think you know what are electrons. Electrons are the basic charged particles that are present within the nucleus of every atom. So when these charges flow, they make electric current or electricity. And the energy that we get from electricity is called electrical energy. Hamari har electrical appliance mein jo energy hoti hai, electrons ki wajah se ya charges ki wajah se usko hum kehte hain 
इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी और ये जो वर्ड है ये निकला भी इलेक्ट्रॉन से ही है सो लेट सी समोर्सिस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी द वेरी फर्स्ट सोर्स इज सन सन कंटेन्स थर्मल एनर्जी एंड वी कैन कन्वर्ट डैट थर्मल एनर्जी इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी नेक्स्ट फॉर्म इज वाटर वाटर से जो पावर प्लांट्स बनते हैं उनको हम कहते हैं हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट्स वाटर ये हाइड्रो का मतलब है वाटर तो हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट्स डेट मेक्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बाई यूजिंग वाटर न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स इन विच वी यूज पेट्रोल एंड एटम्स एंड डिफरेंट केमिकल रिएक्शन टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देन देर आर जनरेटर्स एंड बैटरीज अ वेरी बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बैटरी फ्रॉम विच वी कैन गेट इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज यू पी एस सो दीज आर दी सम सोर्सेज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी नाउ लेट इज डिस्कस सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी अपे डिजिटल फैन ऑब्वियसली दिस फैन रिक्वायर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टू स्टार्ट सो दिस फैन प्रोसेस इज इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड अ लाइट बल्ब ऑब्वियसली बल्ब रिक्वायर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टू स्टार्ट अप सो बल्ब ऑल्सो प्रोसेसिस इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हीट एनर्जी heat is a form of energy that is given out by hot bodies by hot bodies we mean the bodies with high temperature jitna zyada kisi object ka temperature hoga wo hot hoti jayegi aur utni zyada wo heat energy emit karegi so heat energy is given out by every hot object or every hot body let's see some of the sources of heat energy one of the very big source of heat energy is sun next is burning fuel obviously by burning fuel we get a lot of heat energy the food we take also provide us heat energy and frictional forces students whenever the motion of uh, an object is opposed by the force of friction that object produces heat energy friction ka ek effect hai ke wo jab bhi frictional friction ki force act karti hai वो हीट एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस करती है सो वी ऑल्सो गेट हीट एनर्जी बाय द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्सेस। लेट अस सी सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स फ्रॉम आवर डेली लाइफ द वेरी फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज द फायर ऑन विच वी कुक आवर फूड एंड द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल इज इलेक्ट्रिक आयरन बाय यूजिंग दिस आयरन वी गेट हीट एनर्जी इन रिजल्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी now we will discuss light energy so that is a very simple word light means we see in the presence of light so light is a form of energy that travels in the form of waves light jo hai ye hamesha waves ki form mein travel karti hai and obviously agar light nahi hogi to hum dekh nahi sakenge let's see some of the sources of light energy a very big source of light energy is sun we also get light energy from light bulbs from candles by burning fuel we get light energy students i want that you write examples from your daily life or from your uh, surroundings aapne wo examples nahi likhne jo main aapko bata rahi hu these are the examples just for the sake of understanding aapne khud se examples likhni hai so let's see some of the examples of light energy a candle a burning candle obviously that provides this light energy a torch light that also provides us light energy now we are going to study sound energy sound energy means awaaz to awaaz se jo energy produce hogi usko hum sound energy kahenge so sound is produced due to vibrations whenever an object vibrates that produces sound for example the sound Uh, is produced from the vibrations of our vocal cords jab hamare vocal cords vibrate karte hain to sound produce hoti hai isi tarah se jab bhi koi object vibrate karega like ek guitar hai agar aap uske string ko pluck karenge to wo vibrate karenge jisse sound produce hogi drum hai usko agar aap strike karenge to usse bhi sound energy produce hogi when you knock at the doors you produce sound energy so let's see some of the examples obviously music that produces sound energy and a person playing guitar that also produces sound energy next form of energy that we are going to study is chemical energy chemical ye jo word nikla hai na ye chemical reaction se basically nikla hai to jo reactions ke result mein energy produce hoti hai usko hum kehte hain chemical reaction chemical energy so let's see its definition 
chemical energy is present in food, fuels and other substances. We also get chemical energy during chemical reactions. By burning fuel, we get chemical energy. Animals get chemical energy from the food they eat. Because our food is a mixture of many chemicals. So, when we eat them, we react in our body. We react in our reaction. We react in our reaction. Chemical energy. So, let's see some of the sources of chemical energy. The very first source that is chemical reactions. The food we take, fuel we burn, and we also get chemical energy from batteries and cells. Let's see some of the examples of chemical energy. The very first example is a cell or a battery that contains charged particles and there are many chemical reactions that take place in a cell. So basically a cell contains chemical energy. And another example is wood because when we burn wood, wood undergoes many chemical reactions and we get coal at the end. Last but not least, we are going to study nuclear energy. Students, this word nuclear is derived from the word nucleus of an atom. Obviously, we all know about the nucleus of an atom that is the central part of every atom which contains protons and neutrons and electrons revolve around the nucleus of atom. So basically, in nuclear energy, we study two basic types of reaction. The first reaction is fission reaction. That is a very large reaction. Large scale pe reaction karwate hain. It is not easy to handle. It is not easy to control. Here we are going to study the definition just. Basically fission reaction is the breaking up of one large atom. Whenever a large atom breaks up, it releases a large amount of energy. For example, atom bomb. Jab bhi atom bomb ya bomb blast hota hai. So, what is the result? There are radiations produced, heat energy produced, sound energy produced. So, whenever an atom breaks up, that releases a large amount of energy, and that reaction is called fission reaction. Next reaction is called fusion reaction. Fusion reaction is the inverse of fission reaction, means in fission reaction, we study about the breaking up of an atom, but in fusion reaction, Two small nuclei combine to form, uh, form one large nucleus. When small elements make a large atom, we reaction ko kehte hai, fusion reaction. And the very best example of fusion reaction is sun. The sun is giving out large amount of heat energy and light energy due to this fusion reaction that is taking place on sun from the last billions of years. Sun se jitni bhi heat or light energy humare paas aati hai, ye fusion reaction ke result mein aati hai, jo ke suraj ke upar musalsal ho raha hai. That is a very close picture of sun, in which you can see that sun is a huge ball of fire, heat, light and sound energy. Now we are going to study another topic that is again a very important topic and relates the different forms of energy. So, the title of the topic is Interconversion of Energy. There is a very important law that is called Law of Conservation of Energy, which states, Energy can never be made, nor it can be destroyed, but it can change its form from one form to another form. Matlab energy kis ne banai hai? Banai hai kisi ne koi scientist hai jis ne energy banai ho ya produce kiyo? No. Energy is a natural phenomena. Ye nature may exist karti hai. Ek natural phenomena hai. To jab hum isko bana nahi sakte hain, to hum isko destroy bhi nahi kar sakte hain. But hum kya karte hain? Hum energy ko ek form se dusri form mein convert kar dete hain. Very simple example is let, uh, consider a moving fan. A fan requires electrical energy to start up. Electrical energy jab hum usko provide karte hain, button on karte hain, fan on ho jata hai. To electrical energy kis mein convert ho jati hai? Mechanical energy mein. So, electrical energy of moving fan is converted into mechanical energy of fan. And that mechanical energy in return converted from mechanical energy to sound energy and wind energy. Matlab, pankha hawa bhi deta hai aur iske saath saath sound bhi produce hoti hai. So, in this way, interconversion of energy continues. Hum kya karte hai? Hum us energy ko use karte hai? Hum usko utilize kar lete hai? Apne kamro ko thanda karne ke liye. So, in this way, interconversion of energy continues but we cannot destroy energy. Here is another example of interconversion of energy. Let us consider this cycle. On ground, 
the energy of this uh, man with the cycle is kinetic energy when this man starts to climb up and it reaches the highest point the energy is converted from kinetic energy to potential energy and when this uh, man moves down towards the ground this potential energy is converted to the kinetic energy of moving bicycle so in this way interconversion of energy happens now i am going to discuss a very uh, simple process that happens in nature and also obeys the law of conservation of energy that is also given in your book you can make heading of natural process for that we need to consider a pond of water as we all know that uh, water contains kinetic energy because water water keeps on moving so it contains kinetic energy during day time when sun arises and sun contains thermal energy means that gives out heat energy and sun rays so when these sun rays falls on the surface of water the heat of the water molecules and water molecules start to evaporate from the surface of water in the form of water vapors they gain energy the temperature rises and they begin to evaporate from the surface of water so what happens they move up with the air molecules and they form clouds so the kinetic energy here you can see this kinetic energy of moving water is converted into the mechanical energy or the potential energy of these clouds because the clouds are at height so these clouds possess potential energy now these clouds move from one place to another place so this potential energy is converted into the mechanical energy of moving clouds now let us consider that these clouds reach an area with low temperature so that they cool down and they fell down in the form of rain drops and they are collected in the form of a pond pond of water so what happened the mechanical energy of these moving clouds is again converted into the kinetic energy of running water so in this way interconversion of energy continues from kinetic energy to potential energy from potential energy to mechanical energy and then again from mechanical energy to kinetic energy of running water so it is a natural process so we see that nature also obeys the law of conservation of energy students at the end we are going to study a very important natural phenomena and very important definition that is soil erosion the kinetic energy of flowing water takes soil particles with itself which is called soil erosion you can see in the picture that the water is running down and it takes away some of the soil particles with itself that causes soil erosion now i am going to conclude my class so let's make a conclusion energy can be transformed from one form to another but the total amount of energy remains constant or same students this is a very important conclusion we can change energy from one form to another form but we can not change the total amount of energy means jitni start pe energy hogi and pe bhi utni hi energy aayegi hum uski quantity ko zyada ya kam nahi kar sakte hum sirf usko ek form se dusri form mein convert kar sakte hain so you need to memorize this conclusion that energy can only be transformed from one form to another but we can not change the total amount of energy that's all for today i hope all of you have understood take care of yourself and your family members dua kare sabke liye dua kare mere liye bhi dua kare apne liye bhi dua kare khayal rakhe apna apni family members ka khayal rakhe aur duaon mein yaad rakhe khuda hafiz